All right, let's get started. Hi, y'all. What's up? Let me turn the light on really quick. <clears throat> Welcome to Existential Gamers uh, stream, live stream, where we do monthly game content. And today we are playing Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, chosen by our dear viewer Arcus103. Thank you, Arcus, for choosing this. Uh, I never even heard of this game. And I'm willing to try it. Because I like to try a lot of things now. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. I'm um, just setting up setting, uh, settings. Uh, I'm guessing this is just the menu. In case of emergency. It threw me off for a bit. I was like, uh, start, settings, exit. Make sure you have the safest environment in the case of the emergency may make the difference between life and death. Alright, we'll start. We're gonna hit start. We're gonna get right into this. So, um... I feel like this is gonna be a pretty slow mode. I think people were really interested in the first two games, which were very new games. Uh, caught people's eye. But now, um, as we get into these more, uh, niche games, they're a little more obscure. Um... It's going to be a little hard to retain people. And that's absolutely fine. Like I said, the only reason I'm mentioning this is, uh, I guess, uh, in a way, I am asking you to stick around if you do stop by. You know, let's check out these obscure games together, you know? Let's see what's going on. If not, stop by later on. Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you can. That will really be appreciated. As you, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, like, really exhausted. <laughs> I had a long day today, but I'm um, still ready here to um, play this game. I actually forgot that I was playing this game today. Um, I didn't even, I forgot I even, I had, I hadn't even bought the game yet. So I had to buy it and install it. I got home late from work. I was just like, ah, I was a mess. But I was like, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to get this done. And here we are. It's ready. It's ready to go. So this is Dr. Catherine Collins. Let's get into this. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Let me turn the game up just a little bit. Sorry. I just want to make sure we can hear this good. How's that compared to my voice? Okay, we're good. All right. I'm loving this music already. Hi there. Oh, hi. I heard you were playing Smash hi. Brothers earlier. I know, but... Then my computer said, fuck you, everything crashes. <laughs> oh, I'm playing the game yeah, already. Right. Wow, okay. Whoa, what game are we playing today? I'm playing Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Oh, that's that like, weird Jesus one, right? I have no idea. Somebody recommended it. Uh -huh. Asked to, if I could play it on the stream. So. Yeah. I'm playing it. How are you, sir? I'm... I had to end stream early. I planned on streaming all day, but then, like, like I aforementioned, computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so. it can be a little demotivating sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I got four hours, and that's enough. But you promised yourself you'd get a whole day. You put those hours in, man. <laughs> hey, uh. Talk again really quick. I just want to see how my audio levels are. Hello, Jack123. This is the audio from the future coming to me. Uh, B I G N O P P A. No info for the D E A. All right, just making sure like <laughs> they can hear the game. Uh, that was a good one. That's good. Yeah, it's, it was two different songs matched together. <laughs> That's still creative. Right, I guess. So, so far, looks like everyone's dead. 
Great. Poop. Nothing. You're fine. Oh. This Oops. is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, so radio and television <laughs> in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per uh, the crisis preparedness and action. If I don't put in the hours today, then I'm gonna fall behind. That's that's, what she said. that's a no no for me. You're a uh yes. Oh, that's in spam. I just wanna browse Reddit, but it's fucking down. <laughs> Reddit's down too? Yeah. Oh. Yesterday, I don't like the world. Again. You don't like the world? No. Why not? Yeah. Why are you judging the world like that? Somebody keeps talking to me. Are you just gonna be playing everybody's gonna be that Yeah. Yeah. What? Just, just, just talk. They don't, don't shut up, but I can't be like, hey, don't talk to me. You know, because that's weird. Uh, I mean, you can be rude if you want. There's no other way you can uh, convince yourself to explain your feelings without being rude. What's up, Messi? How's it going? How's my day Hi, going? Man. It's going great. Don't listen to this, Matt. No, I was kidding. This is Deacon, by the way. Deacon, don't be rude. Say hi. Even though I interrupt you. Oh, you know. What am I supposed to do with this thing? I've been just staring at this thing pretty light. I was supposed to do something with that. But yeah, my day's going great. I'm just a little tired. Just got out of work. Um, wanted to play this game, whatever it is. Messing with lights, I guess. Something's happening when I move it around, but I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, right there. There we go. I just kept not lining it up in the right place. I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light yeah, bulbs. Don't be, don't be mean Happy? To my, my friend now yet. piss off. Yeah. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No. Steven, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Yes, yeah, Kate, you dick. I love you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Now see you, Let's get started. Oh, it's all good, man. I appreciate when you do show up, though. 
Just know that my streams are usually around from 3 to 5 o'clock around that time. But, um... I appreciate just people stopping by. That's always great. The fuck is that light? Deacon, you still there? He left in me. Son of a bitch. I have to check now. Wait, give me a second. He always leaves without saying anything. <laughs> he God, more memory. Jeremy. Jeremy, come back. Oh, this game is pretty beautiful, though. The art for it's really nice. Oh, um, Princess of Confusion, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Unless you left your computer on, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Either way, thank you for hanging out. Light just suddenly came. The Lord is with us. So we were in the early morning then. Now it's, I would say, around the 10 a.m. mark. 8 a.m., 10 a.m. That's what I would say. The frame rate drops on when I move the camera really quickly, huh? Let me see if I can, let me see if I can mess with that. I don't really need the graphics to be really high anyways. Let's see how it looks like with low graphics. I have to restart the game. Let me see. Let me see. See, so yeah, I'll try to join uh, soccer practice tomorrow at 6. And I have Dude, if you can't show up, that's absolutely fine. There's no obligation, man. Um, Just whenever you have time. You know what I mean? And even then, you can decide to go do something else. <laughs> uh, I have to leave a fire because it's far, but I'll try to join if I can. If I can find my charger. Ah, no, yeah, no problem, man. If you, you know, that's on you. If you want to do that, it's fine. I'm gonna start restart the game really quick just to see uh, how the settings are gonna look. Just see. Or I, I want to figure this out before we get really heavily invested into the game. You know, it's important first. If I can find my window, there it is. All right. I don't know if, uh, since this is Arcus's game that he chose, uh, I'm just trying to see if he's going to be even joining us today. Not too sure. I'm playing your game, sir. That's good. And I don't know what happened. So I wonder if we're following the story of those that couple or not. Or if we're just uh, just seeing random people in their memories. I don't know. What I do know is there ain't nobody around. It's probably going to be a very mellow game, so I apologize to those who are tired and just, like, wanted to get a little, like, adrenaline pumped into their veins. It's not going to be any of that. I mean, I'll try my best, because I'm tired, too, so this is going to be a little bit of a um, sleepy time for me, too. <laughs> but, uh, let's go. I'm interested to find out what happened to everybody. Why did this happen? Where did everybody go? What is this rapture that happened? Is it a is it a spiritual thing or is it just some sort of science phenomenon? That's what we gotta find out. And we're gonna find out. Out. All right, let's go find Jeremy again. And bring the sun back. Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy, come back here. Jeremy. So I just gotta keep my focus on it? 
side drive. We follow Jeremy? Ugh, jeez. Last time I was just so tired. How do I? Okay, so whatever. I'm just gonna go over here and see what's going on. Well, I suppose from that we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Boughton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. Well, it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Bob, and I'll personally deliver it for you. Once this blockade is removed, anyway. Come on, Bob. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. Yeah, I'm I lowered the graphics and it still looks good. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Cracking headache all of a sudden. Cracking. This is not a new word a lot of people say nowadays. They say cracking. That was cracked. I don't get what that's. I mean, apparently it's supposed to mean that you're doing great, like you did a good job. Oh, shoot, that's a crack. It. Oh, crack job or something like that. I don't know. Honestly, I don't like the word, but that's just my opinion. Be careful with peeing. Who's Hello? That? Hello? Hey, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear one. me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! Holy fuck. What happened? Well, that piqued my interest. It's in the phones. Hmm. This is some SCP sh I wonder if it was only just this like town or something. You think people would have been? Sorry, I saw like blurs in the sky. I'm a little traumatized from the rage. In the... Dead by the light. I see blurs. So hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. <sighs> Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. Just being a dick. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See oh you. my goodness. Look on the bright side, I'm around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> I 
Uh, at least he's trying. <laughs> at least he's trying. I'm guessing we're in the UK, according to their um, accents and the uh, architecture around here. And greenery. So far, it's just been like walking sim. We've just been uncovering a story. There hasn't been any puzzles or anything. That's the radio. Can I open this door? Nope. Somebody locked their house before they left. Good on them. I can't open any of these doors. More memories. I feel like I'm passing by memories. Hey, a Rubik's Cube. Oh, wait. <laughs> you have to hold it. I'm stupid. Nope, I'm not stupid. I'm not. Just a little slow. That's actually something I was, uh, was talking to a couple people about. Um, the idea that, in a way, stupid, dumb, um, is a stupid, dumb, and an idiot are all technically three different things. You have stupid, which comes from, uh, like, stupendous or stupor. Um, it just means you're, you've been, like, struck and you're, you're, you, you don't know what to do. You're, you're just stuck in a small stupor. So, you know, saying someone's stupid is like, like, are you just sitting there not going to do anything? What are you, stupid? Like, get up and go do something. You, you know. In a way, I guess you could say it was, it's lazy, but in a more, uh, how would you say, a more literal sense? Like, 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 when people say lazy, you know, often the times they're just saying like, oh, you're not doing something I need you to do. You know, or you're telling yourself that I, I'm not doing something that I need to do. I'm just lazy. But it's, it's, and, and I always say this, it's, it's lazy to think that you're lazy. Lazy is just a, a vague term you use to describe something that you don't want to do the work to figure out why you don't, why you feel that way, you know? Like, a lot of times I'm like, ah, I'm just too lazy. It's like, no, it's just because, like, I feel like it's un inefficient to do this certain way. Or uh, maybe I'm scared of doing a you certain know, thing, uh, a certain task. See me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your lot up at Vallis have never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't Jim, really Jeremy understand Stephen what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. <laughs> Oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next? Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> Father Wheeler. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. If they just stay out of my way. Damn. What a town. Anyways, I was saying, you have stupid, which is kind of a similarity to lazy, but it's more of like a, like, hey, come on, let's do something, you know? Uh, and then you have idiot, which comes from idios, or idiomis, or something like that. One of the Latin words, which just means privately owned, you're in your own place. So, calling someone an idiot, just pretty much you're saying, like, you're in your own world, dude, like, wake up, like, look around you, like, there's other stuff besides your own perspective. Stop being an idiot. <laughs> Like, if somebody doesn't know how to do something, I mean, 
you know, you can, there's plenty of words to like call somebody who's a beginner at something and uh, you could do it without insulting them. Like, hey, you're an ABC Darian, you know, you're a Greenhorn, you know, you're um, a Neophyte. I don't know. There's like plenty of words to describe. Hey, you're new to something. Like, you're not stupid. You're not lazy. You're not dumb because dumb is actually uh, another word for mute. This became more of a negative connotation. Hell, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like the word retarded, but I mean, retarded, retardation literally translates to just being slow. Of course, it has that negative connotation because people have abused the word. Like, sometimes I'll be like, man, I'm retarded. <laughs> but I'm just saying that because I'm like being slow about something. I don't mean it in the sense of like the way people use that word against other people. I guess, I guess I'm saying is like, I'm not trying to be condescending condescending when I say I'm retarded. I'm more of saying that I'm literally being slow. I just prefer to use that word. Just rolls off the tongue better, I don't know. But like, this is at the same time, it's like I get the whole idea of, you know, some words hurt. But that's why, like, and I've talked about this many times, the idea of context. If I'm not directing that word towards you, you know, people need to learn the, like, oh, that's not towards me. I shouldn't be hurt by that word. Yes, that word has been used against me, and it hurt when they used that word against me, but it's not being used at me at the moment. Oh, God, I thought that rock moved. I'm seeing stuff. Um, it's not being used against me, and so it should not be as harmful. Or it shouldn't even be harmful at all, but, you know, you got to work to get there. That's a huge thing that a lot of people need to learn nowadays is just learning about that context. This is like an open world... Shoot, it just launched me out right there. It's like an open world to explore the story game. Why is it... Why do I get like an increased speed when I ride the gate? Wait, wait, wait. If I like open it? And then... Okay. It, 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 there's something there. There was something there. Just... Didn't continue. Or am I supposed to just follow that light? I kind of wanted to explore everything. I mean, they worked hard to make all of this. Infinite. It's infinitely locked because I can't get in there. Or maybe I can go through the back. There's some nice little houses though. This is foxglove. So this you flower right here is actually, you can actually use it to make tea. I do love them for them. Oh, these are primrose too. These, these are all real flowers that are- uh, There are other people involved in this. Oh, I, I hardly care. think that anyone's in the position to claim the moral high ground, do you? I'm well, over here messing with Steven. the plants and the stories now. I'm Robert, but I, I think Kate might see things differently. Do you? Ooh, Lizzie. I mean, she's not screwing anyone else, pardon my French, but she spends all day and night locked up in that observatory. Stephen says they barely see each other. That's hardly a marriage, is it? Hmm. I mean, it's not really about the seeing each other. It's just being, you know, it's just a companionship. Sometimes things will happen and you won't be able to see each other for a while. It doesn't mean you go like, I gotta go find somebody else. No. Sorry, I'm like... This is what happens when I work at a plant place. I'm like looking at the plants. So you have these osteo African daisies right here. Primrose. Orchids. Look like orchids. Kind of look like Freesia too. Really tall Freesia. And these are poppies. Iceland poppies. God, all these are plants that I <laughs> have at work. Oh, I can't escape it. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. These look like roses, but the the body of the plant doesn't look like. Ro Anyways, I'm gonna move on with my life here. I'll move on with my life. I'm sure I've seen that plant before. Oh, I've seen this plant before too. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're gonna move on. Let's keep exploring. Plants are awesome, guys. If you didn't know that, but they're similar to your pets. You know, you don't want to. That is an empty building. They're they're. You don't want to. Go and buy a bunch of plants if you're not going to take care of them. They're still living things, guys. You know, don't go and just neglect them. 
I wouldn't be surprised that they had feelings too that we just don't understand. What? What? Why is this hole here then? What are you gonna do that to me? Little bee house. The sound gets different when I get towards that area as well. Here another phone. But I was saying about that foxglove. So that purple flower there is known as foxglove. The one over there. I'm just seeing what this is. It's like lattice. Yeah, looks similar to that. But I'm sure we don't have those. Um, this foxglove, the purple flower, is um, they've actually figured out it has medicinal properties where it's actually good for your heart and you can use it as tea. The thing is, it can be very poisonous if you drink too much of it. So, like, maybe drinking, like, one cup a week or a month. I don't see a huge difference, but I say do the research. You know, don't, don't take my advice. <laughs> Look into it, you know, a little more. But I thought it was pretty cool that it's used for that. Blood in the. I just realized there's blood. Okay, I guess I can't answer the phone. In quick seconds. Something is being weird. Respond to that. Oh, the door's open. More flowers. Isn't that great? Oh, that's it. Oh! You're here! Take me away. Take me to see Jesus. Or something. Anything? No? Can I control you? Get your memory. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go in there. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Seems like a urgent care. All these medical files and stuff. Wait a minute. This is bothering me. I need to see. Music. Mm. Oh, it's up. See, I, I keep thinking I have to do something with it, but it just stays there. So I'm guessing it just wants me to go inside. And that's what I'm gonna do. Don't you wait. Here you are. There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gable just called me and said her she... husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming up from his ears and his what nose. What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor... Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient. <laughs> your nose. He was infected. Jeez, blood everywhere. Oh, what the heck? Why did I go down? That was weird. I keep going on the wrong side of the door like ding dong. The real ding dong. Ding dong man, ding dong. That's how you know my graphics are on low when the flowers are moving like five seconds. Oh an accident. Visual and auditory distortions are becoming more frequent, along with mild convulsions to the left side, 
all of which support a preliminary diagnosis of intracranial hypertension occurring as a result of a substantial and rapidly expanding tumor originating i believe within the hypothalamus oh, shoot. cognitive functions are currently unimpaired aside from this crippling headache hemorrhaging is becoming more frequent with darker clots passing if i remember correctly the hypothalamus is going to be right around the back part of your head but i need to look it up just in case because it's saying you get a tumor in the hypothalamus this is certainly not flu or anything else i have ever encountered and certainly a tumor cannot expand this rapidly oh never mind it's the in the blood clots i see tiny oh. flecks of what looks almost no, like it's more in the limbic to area to find the description liquid light i cannot explain this phenomenon so it's like the very uh like very center of the brain at the base so like say like right behind your eyes almost like so you have the top part of your brain it's like where the brain curves back and it's at the base of that part towards the center of the brain that'll be like the hypothalamus so he's saying there's a tumor growing right there in that area it's very uh that sounds very painful <laughs> and that means that's causing them to bleed out of their ears and their nose and stuff Ugh. all right now that i've explored all that where do i go now oh magic ball of light can you lead the way? Where'd it go? I guess we just continue. Oh, there it is. It went, it went to go find us. The Porters! Haverton Road. this place hello anyone here Mag come and have a look at this oh, I don't believe it Charlie Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses he said a load of stuff had been taken what's up it looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies bastard well we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months we should get a truck what and go and get all of it now yeah why not it's Appleton yeah, why it's not? that bloody crackpot, Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We better get moving before the weather turns. And how do you know you come that? In? We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. It's easy to pinpoint somebody you don't really have the highest regard of on something that is troubling you. I've done it. I'm sure we've all done it. That's why we got to take a step back and be like, why am I saying that? It's because I'm angry at that person. And I want them to be the villain of my story. We have to learn to take that step back and realize that we're doing it out of another reason, not out of truth. By the way, this is going to be this game. I'm just going to be talking like that the whole time. So if you're not into that, too bad. You're going to get it. You're going you're gonna to like it. I mean, obviously, you're going to like it if you're here still, you know. If not, I mean, why Why are you here? What, what are you doing here? Get out. Get out of here. You're not ready. You're not ready for the truth. You can't handle the truth. A lot of people can't handle the truth. That's the truth. Propane and propane accessories. It's telling us to go up there now. Shepherd's Walk. At least all the animals are still around. Where are you going now? Oh, quest. You know what? I'm still going over here. You told me to come over here. I'm going over here. Ding dong. Oh, shoot. Oh no, it's coming back. 
He's just showing all the possible areas we can gather memories and stuff. But we kind of go at our own pace. If you could just have a word oh with God, them, perhaps. Just they listen flings to me. You. Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think that what's been happening with Mr. Holmes and, this and, and this Mrs. Bowton and the others, that people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans mm. chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your No, how do you run? There's a run button? In order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. It's not my judgment you should be worried about, You're father. kidding me right now, right? But fine. By the way, hi, Arcus. Thanks I'll for talk choosing to Barbara. this game today. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do? All this drama, though. Dude, I don't know how to run. How do I run? I never told me anything about running. I haven't unlocked that ability yet. Oh no, the clouds are passing. There's no clouds over me. Why is it getting dark? Where's the sun at? The sun's right there. No clouds. This lighting. Left trigger. I don't have a left trigger. I'm using the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> I mean, I'm holding the shift button. That doesn't do anything. Let me look at, uh, settings. Controls. Keyboard and mouse. It says shift. I hit shift. Nothing happens. Is my shift key not working? Doesn't even reach the back fence, silly old bugger. Well, loaves and fishes we can manage, Father but Jeremy, designs... might I have a word? Mrs. Boyles, of course. Meg, will you excuse us, please? Ha, uh, her last name is Boyles. Later. Cheerio, Wendy. I was speaking to Barbara. She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Good grief. We... Those are private medical records. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have no choice but to suspend her. Damn it, Wendy. Your brother is grieving. Mary was sick for a long time, and I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you now. God knows what you did. He sees. I just pray can overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an issue you with bring me. shame on this parish. If you have an issue with me, I suggest you write to the Bishop of the Diocese. I have parishioners to attend to. Excuse me. Nobody got time for your drama, Wendy. Your accusations without evidence. But at the same time, he kind of just excused it as well, but... Oh, did they? That's weird. Yeah, I can't run. Doesn't let me. Maybe you gotta beat the game once. Though, I, I feel like it's one of those games where once you beat it, you're kind of like... I mean... Why would I play it again? I've explored everything, right? Well, they said you missed stuff, right? Is it maybe the other ship is the one that makes me move? Nope, never mind. Yeah, I'm trying to see what other buttons. Hello? Jesus, are you here? I've been wanting to talk to you, man. I... I've been having these things going on. I just can't decide whether or not this is the right thing for me, you know? Like, it's just been a lot of things on my mind. And I just have nobody else to turn to. I just... You see... There's... There's something that I've... Been, just, like I said, it's been on my mind. And I just can't decide whether what I'm feeling is really true or is just a false a false thing you know like maybe it's the devil leading me astray god damn it jesus you're right i need to take things into my own hands <sighs> you're always here for me i appreciate it 
Oh wait, this is a Christian church. Whoops. Sorry. I wasn't talking to Jesus then. Oh, who was I? You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let Jesus take the wheels, son. Dude, I like these, like, little fancy pillows they have. Shoot. That's dangerous, though, all that fire. Somebody lost their little walker here. Hmm. Just seen earlier, I don't know if you were here, Arcus. Um, I was observing all the plants <laughs> that they had planted around the like the doctor's area, and a lot of them I've seen at work. Like I was just like, oh, it's that plant, it's that plant. Like this one they've been using a lot. Um, I believe we have these at work, but I'm not too sure. They kind of look different. So they might be a different species. They look similar to uh, the lattice plant that we have. These little tiny daisies also, they had big versions of them way over there, and they look very similar to the African daisies or the osteospermum, which uh, translates to bone seed because the seeds of the, the African daisy plants, uh, they, they say they're as hard as bone. So they, they call the species bone seed. Three circles. Mm. Looks like poppy flowers they use for those weeds. Jeez, the hell is that sound? Alright, so I guess we're gonna go back down. Maybe I could change the button for run and it'll work. Rolls. We're gonna press R. R to run. Oh, I had to leave the game to do that. Oh, there we go. It still won't work. It still won't work. No. I can't run. Or is it a toggle? Jesus, sound is scary. What if like Siren Head was here? That'd be really spooky. He was just sitting there watching us. Because Siren Head is very scary. Actually, have you seen the Siren Head mod for Fallout 4? That is actually some scary shit. <laughs> As cheesy as the whole siren head thing is, like that's actually pretty creepy. So this is very interesting. It's kind of like a um, open world story based game. It's a very unnoticeable run. That's what I'm guessing. I, maybe I am running and it's just not noticeable. Oh, you know what? Look, there we go. I'm running. You gotta hold it though. It's just not that quick. So this is walk, and then I hold down the run button. Shift to maximum overdrive. Yeah. This music though is really good. I feel like I skipped a bunch of stuff. Let me go back. Oy. What's up, Mike? I see you sneaking in here. I also saw Darth Sky124. Thanks for showing up as well, sir. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Badger's Loft. Am I going to people's houses or not? See, when you're closer to objects, it, the, the run is real, a lot more obvious. Like, like, it just seems a lot faster. Go say hi. Springy. Oh, you're saying hi to the, the spirit thingy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is it in, in this story? Is it like they said the, the, the light thing went over there, but I think it's telling me where to go to move the story along, but I kind of want to figure out what's going on with the rest of town. So, they're thinking it's some sort of rapture, but it actually was like some sort of disease? Because the doctor was talking about how 
the hypothalamus was gaining a tumor and like expanding. I saw, you, I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. Give it's me mine. Give me the can. Give me the can. Fucking grow up! Fuck me. Fuck starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! Oh, wow. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. Is that, was it, is that what he means with the paint? Huh. No, not the rapture-like bios. <laughs> Shock. Kingdom Hearts. It did look like Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. You know, because of Kingdom Hearts, I can never look at the word submit the same anymore. Earlier today, I was submitting something something for my work. Like, uh, we were doing inventory. And I was checking through some of the plants. And as soon, every time I hit submit on my phone, I always go, SUBMIT! Because I always remember when that stupid final boss fight, and he, like, sends that shadow thing to, like, grab your arms and hold you down. And I'm just like, <laughs> I just like, I can't say submit without thinking about that now. Submit, submit. I'm like, stop it! Stop countering me! <laughs> That's funny, though. Open up! It's the police. Subway, eat fresh. Nice. I can't run in the house. It's against the rules, apparently. They wouldn't approve. Ooh, piano. Oh, come on. Dude, why are all the pianos like bigger than my piano? Like I have two pianos and they're both smaller than this. This has what? Let's see. 15 sets of keys? Oh, hey. It's the light. Oh, lights are here. What if they just throw just one random like like fight you have to do like where you have to like run away from a creature or something that would be creepy as hell hello oh Amanda I thought you'd left town we tried we did try but God said but no we closed all the roads and you can't get through and and then well, y'all going to get headaches. judged and then they today and... there ain't no leaving this oh, town I'm so scared so Neil turned the car around and um, we saw the house was open and I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids and and then Neil and I started bleeding as well and Shoot. it's all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired, and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed. And Do know, people actually spell Michael that way? Children, and, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them up. This is my Keel Hines. And? That bothers me. That was six hours ago. He never came back down. It's been too far. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. Jeremy's the priest, right? Yeah. yeah I think I could manage that, yes. Father Jeremy. Will you please help me. Of course I'll help you. I lowered the settings really low and everything's getting Neil? this like line texture through. Neil, are you there? Oh, 
Operation Wood Pigeon, the Allen, the Allied campaign in Italy. It's a little drawing. Mummy. It's a picture of mummy. Okay. So the priest is going around trying to check up on everybody. Are all the doors are locked except for that one? Guess we're all we're on out of here. I already checked this door, right? No, I did not. But it doesn't matter because I've already been there. All right. Let's go the other way. So that's foxglove. What is this one? Looks very familiar as well. But then you have the this texture of the foxglove down there too, so that's weird. It's kind of looks like azaleas, but smaller. Anyways. <laughs> I like the flowers they have, they're nice. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Hmm, pues. Oh, I haven't gone over here yet. The bridge. I'm not running. Should probably go check out the swing and stuff too. The little children park. Maybe there might be memories there. Is everything alright? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's God that damn, look on your face? Stephen! Stephen! Steven's kind of a dick. Any memories here? Nope. All right. Oh, there's one. Benjamin, Georgie, leave it alone. It might have fleas. No, Amanda, what are they up to? Oh, they found another dead bird. I do wish the council would clean them up. Well, apparently they're saying it's a flu epidemic. And I gather they'll be closing the roads and stations. So they're worried enough for that. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, you don't mess about with the flu outbreak, I suppose. But look, I'm just saying, if you were planning on taking the kids to Wales, now might be the time to do it. Well, thanks, Barbara. I'll have a word with Neil, see what he thinks. Now, George, Benjamin, for God's sake, leave it alone! Hmm. They never did clean up them birds. Got all of them. Ah, oh, there's a wall. Mr. Krabs, I can't find the door, Mr. Krabs. Alright. Let's go that way, I guess. Any duck memories? No, no duck memories. That's sad. Where are the ducks? Did they get sent? What's going on? It. I locked the door. Myself. Okay. Somewhere around here, back of the house. I need the memories. Electrical failures all over Tower Six. Oh, these all have the memories too. The light is flowing like Some. liquid. I miss those. Its sense of purpose is overwhelming. There's something in. Stephen. Steven, is that you? Hmm. That house is empty, isn't it? So I just came back here just to get one radio. Let's keep looking around. Hi Scoobs, how's it going? How's your day? We're playing a little mellow game today. We're just learning about why this town 
up and disappeared. Oh, spooky base. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't do anything. Stop, stop it. Calm down. I'll okay. get back. It's in my head. I would wait. Ah! Oh. ah! Father. Father, are you all right? It's my ankle. Oh, Jesus, Lord, I think it's broken. Uh, Howard, go and get help. There's no one left. No one's coming to help us. Please, Howard, fetch help. The light. There in the light. I can see everyone in the light. Damn it, Howard. Oh, my God. That's all that happened here. Poor Jeremy broke his ankle. Not for the Jeremy. He's a good man. Oh, this is the church. Or no. What not about the, church, the station? Multi purpose. That's shut down too. So there's no way in or out of the valley. They're obviously serious about this flu thing. Phil doesn't think it's flu at all. He said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. This means he doesn't know There's me. nothing of any use on the radio. Sorry, I'm late, everyone. Have you started? Yes, but to be honest, there's not really that much to discuss. This quarantine is in place. There's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them, too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's seen Sullivan since yesterday, and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Oh, man. Hasn't he had enough for one year? First Mary and now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Uh, Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Jeremy, put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's best we get everyone in one place for the time being. Good. I'll organize supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but well, let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rotor. Charlie, you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg. I'll head out into the valley and scoop up the isolated families and check in with Lizzie Graves at the camp. Now, has anyone seen or heard anything from Stephen Appleton or his wife? What did they do? What did they do? Right? Everyone's off the village. Fall tomorrow night is here. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, look at that texture thing again. It's a lighting issue, I guess, with low setting. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Not that door. I'm trying to click on the lights. Monkey. What's with everyone's fascination with the monkeys now? <laughs> Where's the map at? I need to see the map. I'm lost. I'm lost, I swear. Oh, we can run again. Thank God. I wonder if there's a memory out here thing just sitting out here. No? Nothing? 
Thanks a lot for wasting my time. So another infinite sign. I'm guessing the infinite sign has to do with that, um... What's the word? Uh... The, the rapture. Whatever's causing the rapture. Can I sneak in through here? What are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing in the backyard there? What are you doing? I just came by to say hi. Okay. Keep doing your thing. I can't go over there. The entity? Yeah. What is the entity doing? What's it doing to us? These are walls. Why are these plants walls? Please. Enough of these skanks. I feel like, I mean, I know I'm sure I didn't hit every single building, but I feel like I've gotten majority of them. Ooh, what are these? Oh, nice. Oh. Okay. Hello? Anybody home? Let me in. No? Well, fuck you then. Alright, oh! Yes? Nope. No way, yes! I saw it open. Come on! I thought it was open, damn it. Alright, um. I feel like we've gone pretty much everywhere. Can't think of where else to go. Tape recorder can't really do anything with that. I don't see that light anywhere either. Did I miss it? And rule 34 the entity. Oh, wait. It's over by the church now. Did we already go over there? God is calling us back to embrace his holy light and forget all of our sins. For this is the way. Please, God, bless me with your beautiful light. Okay, I can't. How do I just. Alright, I'll just. I'll go inside and pray to you. That's, that works for me. Weird. Ooh, that sounds creepy. I think I even got, I even got a memory in this place yet. Just came in and nothing happened. That sound is creepy, but I don't know what to do. That's blocked off for some reason. I don't know what to do. Okay, what do you need? What do you want? Control it with the right click button. Yeah, I don't know, man. Anybody got any idea? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there. One of the only lights I see around here. Let's see if I can find another one. With my maximum overdrive running. Top speed. Wait, this is a community center. Where have we been here? Let me go back to the farm area. Might be something there we've missed. Hi, Wes. Oh, you know, we never went that way, I think. I think there's a road down there. I also didn't check out the farm area. Not that I remember.
Spinning in a field of flowers, ready to get on with the hours. I've been recording the pattern for three hours and so far have accumulated over three megabytes of binary data. The pattern does not, at this point, seem to be part of any recognizably closed loop, but there remains symmetry despite the conflicts. Ooh. What is that supposed to mean? That it makes beautiful patterns that is very uh, symmetrical. Oh my god, every time you click on the damn door, it just flings you across the damn room. Alright, we haven't been in here yet. Meg? Meg? Meg, are you here? Here. I'm in the lounge. There are too many empty houses tonight. Most of the village is gone now. My head's killing me. Have you listened to the phones? No, I thought they were all dead. There's a strange kind of static now. I think I heard numbers in it. It sounded like the American woman. Kate, she's still alive. No one's seen her. Mm. Is Charlie back? Not yet, no. I'm sorry. That's all right, Father. Listen, you go on ahead. I'll just rest here a little longer. Sleep well. Damn. I feel bad for these people. And they're not even real. God damn it. Great quiz questions. One seven zero zero three five nine. Something around there. I don't know. Well, I guess that's it for here. You know, just leave the light on. Give them a huge electric bill. All right, moving on. Hell's up. Oh, it's a socket. Man, how dare they make this house believable? Man, fooling me. So we explored that house. Yeah, so we might have to go back to the observatory later then, right? Walk to this. I gotta go the other way. Yo, who picked a Gengar over here? That's pretty cool looking. Oh, Zippy. That's cool. Remember, y'all, you'll pick your own little, uh, little characters there. Yo, what up, Richard Rios? Look who it is. It's the Patreon man himself. I always appreciate you, man. Um, how you doing? Gotta always do a shout out for you, man. Unfortunately, I lost the, the shout out buttons because uh, my computer sucks. <laughs> Hopefully in the future when I get a better computer, I can have some... Uh, more goodies to share with y'all. That'll be great. How long is this game, Arcus? Hey, hi Lance. How's it going, my little dude? Hope you're doing great, man. Enjoying life. Enjoy that life, sir. I already explored this already.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do now. I've sort of gone everywhere. I guess we could just retrace our steps and see if there's any place we haven't gone to yet. I mean, in the very beginning, I didn't even know I could open doors, so I'm pretty sure I missed a couple of things. I hear a radio or something. Like it wasn't just some distortion of physics. I may not understand it yet, but it wasn't an accident. All of the clocks, what happened at Tower 6, it's just not random. There's an effort. An attempt to communicate. It's an alien. She's saying it's aliens. Alright, door's locked. Door's locked. Door's locked! Or did I say door's stuck? Make sure I got everything here. I think they slow you down when you go inside a building. You're like sort of fast outside, and then once you enter a building, it's just like, slow down there. You really need to take in the scenery. And then I'm like, it's just a house. They're like, no, but we worked really hard on this. You gotta take in the scenery. It's a house. Nine hours! But I'm not a completionist. I left that road a long time ago. I haven't been here yet. I used to be back in the day. But. There's not a lot of life, you know? And we can't be going around, dicking around, waiting for everything to be perfect. We have to just accept the way things are and move on to the next thing, you know? Even with people. Sometimes. Sometimes. The people you're hanging out with is just not the right people for you anymore. Or sometimes it's the person you want to be with. And so you have to step it up and just be like, you know what? I'm putting my foot down. This, These are my peeps. These are the people I want to be with. You don't have time to be a completionist. You don't have time to collect all these things and grab everything possible thing of a collection. Because then what? What's the point? You get to the end and then you tell yourself, oh, I guess I did it. And then now, you're just sitting there with this complete thing. Now with nothing else to do. It's not about completing. It's about experiencing. So from the main road. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Steven seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He said, uh... Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. But for Frank, why? There's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure but of it. They'll how? send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. But this pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. So any of you guys follow the SCP, uh, SCP lore? They have these things called pattern streamers. It's pretty much what attacked this place, you know? They just, like, destroyed them, obliterated everything. Now you're just kind of lost in this like void of memories that exist forever and ever, only to never exist. An eternity of non-existence. A cacophony of memories and sounds. And some asshole turning on the lights and leaving them on. A shitty light. You know, and, and you know, joking aside, when you kind of take that whole idea of being a completionist, it kind of you can kind of see it in the opposite, right? Like you know. People often, people often take things for granted, right? They'll, they'll just keep discarding things instead of recognizing that they were also good for them, you know? So you can, I mean, it's just like anything, right? There's always a, too much and too little. You can always focus too much on having everything perfect and complete. And you can also be too much on not 
giving you know a little attention to some of the details um, and you know be grateful for the good memories you've gotten or be content with what you have so far you know, things like that it's like the little things Wendy okay so we, we dealt with Jeremy's stories now we're dealing with Wendy's okay we move along that's why it's four hours probably got to deal with like ten different towns On you. Where are you going? Okay, you're fucking with me. Let's keep exploring. But I don't know. What do you guys feel about that? I'd like to know your guys' opinion. Can you guys give an example of something that doesn't need balance? It's just good no matter what, like just complete good. There's no like too much or too little of that thing. Oh, don't, don't cry, sorry. And I, I just feel like the human body is designed around balance, you know? There's a, there was, there, I heard a wise man say one time that emptiness can be fulfilling. A scale that has equal weight on both sides. Yeah, that'll still be balanced though. I'm saying things that, you know, you can't, you can have too much of or too little. That's bad or good. It works either way. Guess we gotta go in this house. Hedgerow Birds of England. David Attenborough. Unveil the story. You do look ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. My Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more nature. elderly residents. Can't Mrs. Have too much nature. has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains, I feel or like nature digestive be balanced issues. Itself, right? Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. That's what everything's Go and designed find around. some real sick people to nature. look after. Nature of elements, and atoms, molecules. And if you molecules. see that son of mine, tell him that All his that mother's like looking for him. the foundation of our very being. What are you talking about? Like, plant nature and all that. Just depends on what you're exactly talking about. You can't have too much of one species. You can't have too much of, you know, um, one biome. All those things are balanced out and, you know, created for specific reasons. They're in specific areas for, you know, specific reasons. If the if the atmosphere were to shift all around the uh, the Earth, it would you know it would nature would adjust accordingly. You know, it's always making sure to keep balance with everything. But uh, when I say that, I mean uh, when I was talking about the balancing, I was talking about uh, from a human perspective. Is there anything that you know we can do uh, that's either too much or too little uh, that is still good or you know bad or no, it's, it's still good because what we're arguing here is that too much or too little of anything is bad. I mean, you can take something like sex, right? Uh, too little is, you know, the human race doesn't go on. Too much can make you addicted and, uh, you know, blind to other important needs and stuff like that. And it can make you lustful, things like that. 
uh, you can you mess you can mess up your dopamine and again it goes to the addiction portion again and all that. And you can also you know become so sex crazy that you start doing stuff like you know like rape and all that. That's where all that stuff comes into play. That's the too much side. You know it becomes a uh, uncivil un you know just just becomes the bad side. Too much food, too little food. You know you starve. Too much food. Uh, become gluttonous, you start gaining all this weight, your body can't handle all this energy, and you can't just keep storing and storing and storing, eventually your body falls apart. Okay, so we're done with this building, I'm guessing. Also, that's why earlier I was saying, like, the body is designed around balance, and that's what I was, like, kind of re referring to as well, it's like, we're just talking about balance in general. Of the human body. I am not running right now. I should be running. Ooh, this music. Though. I like these talks, though. They're very insightful to like, because I, I, especially getting other people's opinions. Um. Away, Amanda. Oh, oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fair. Wendy does not Seems like Father Jeremy. In the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here <laughs> to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. God needed him life, early. Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. King That's Orbs. as God meant things to be. What a become famous boy full of stories and fuels. What's a bit of a cup of tea with the pop up with the pop up with pop? Big follows that come. Oh, sorry, does that count as advertising? I'm sorry. I don't know if the, the Twitch uh, algorithm can understand sarcasm. Or, um, mocking behavior. Fucking yolks. Where's the radio at? I hear a radio. Oh, it's in the tree house. Can I go up there? Oh, yeah. This is excellent, engaging gameplay. Novelty. I'm being half sarcastic and half serious. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Guess we're not done here. We have to learn. We have to learn the story of Wendy Boyles. Wendy boils everyone's mind with her complaining. By the way, anybody uh, really offended by my accent, I apologize. It's literally just sounds coming in my mouth. It's not um, a specific accent or anything. I I'm actually just. I I don't even know what it is. And if you think it's a certain lang a certain accent, uh, well, let me tell you, um, let me tell you, it isn't, it isn't that whatever you're thinking. 607? 607 what? Oh shoot, I thought I saw a horse. Jeez, I'm that tired, I'm freaking playing, my, my mind is playing tricks on me. Alright, 
little light. Where are you going? Where are you taking me? Oh, you almost burned my retinas. Oh, there's a phone. It got as far as the Haberton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light. Whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before you it become pure energy, pure raw energy, photons. Uh, you've got to order a strike. What? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. But it's light. No. Uh, you'd have to have like a black we've hole or something. The valley. We've cut the lines. It's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Steven, I said it's contained. I'd be dead. Don't you love when people try to guilt trip you into things? You gotta, you gotta be happy with that on your conscience. If I said yes, how would you feel about me? Oh, I wouldn't like you. Oh, that's too bad. That's, that's very, that's, that's too bad. You know, I can't control how you feel about me. So... I'm just gonna let that one go. It works pretty good the first couple of times, but when you start catching on to it, you're just kind of like, you know what? Fuck God. <laughs> you be doing that to me. It does work really good, though. A lot of people in my life have done it. And I've done it to people. And I've seen the error in my ways. I try to really avoid it now. I feel like it's a, a quick defense mechanism for us to do to get things the to get uh, things to go a certain way that we want. And we have to learn to take a step back and be aware of that. That this is not the, no bueno, no bueno. Okay, we've been here already. This is where the treehouse was at. Can I kick a goal into the... Come on. Come on. Go! Oh. Going over there. House is over here too. God, these people have all the huge houses and then you have the other people over there that don't have the little small houses. Imaginary Golasso! Golasso, Golasso, Golasso! Salvador Gigante! Oh, I hear another phone. Oh, I hear another phone. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hello, Frank Appleton. Break a lost cowboy, this is traveling Sherlock. You copy over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You say this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You'd be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff. And you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a point. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. I'll never argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> he just wants you to look at the sky and be grateful for your life, okay? Gee. Can't go in there. Where's our friend, the little friend, the, the Willow the Wisp? There's tissues everywhere. You know, guys, you gotta just take it like a man and just bleed everywhere never mind you'd be taking it like a woman but you still be bleeding everywhere <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm so sorry what the hell is this huh is that a little square a square texture oh my god I paid twenty dollars for this game and I get this <sighs> this is not what I deserve I deserve better. I'm a good person, okay? I deserve better. I deserve green grass in perfectly organic shapes. Notes, imaginary square textures. 
This is ridiculous. This game is tarnished. Where am I going? I don't know. All I know is I'm going as fast as the speed of sound. Got places to go. Got junk to scrounge through. Oh. You send me a little signal there, huh? Ah, get away the whisk when. Yeah, they are pretty efficient. Uh huh, yes, yes, uh huh, yes. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. Hey, another dead bird, even though we hear plenty of live birds, and they're all Terry up there. called this morning. Oh. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. It's Frank the Dad? Frank Appleton, right? Is it Follow the light. Follow the light. It has a hitbox. I can't pass through it. Harvey! Harvey, come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey! Harvey! What happened to Harvey? Oh, does it? Oh. Two out of ten. This game is ridiculous. It. Push the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Damn it, Harvey. Going on a little hike here. This is really nice. It's too bad everyone's dead. on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you wow. won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? Oh, one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. Wendy's one of them people. <sighs> just can't leave a bee. Everything has to be the way I want it in the perfect story. It's the way God would want it. We'll be using God as an excuse. It was like she was saying earlier, like, oh, you're a blemish on the parish and things like that. Why? Because you say so? What, are you God? Did God come down and tell you how everything's supposed to be? How it's supposed to be written? Don't sound right to me. That's a true idiot. Somebody who's lost in their own world. It's a radio. Phone call from Stephen. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. Okay, that's good. That's good. I gotta check up on my uh, 
my affiliate status. Um, I, I'm sure we're getting closer to getting affiliate, so I can start I can putting some more goodies. Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean, we can't just leave it. We must be really badly hurt. Jesus, no, no, no. Sun time savings. Now we're one hate later. You have a way with word scoops. I'll tell you that now. Oh, I just ran right past that memory. What just happened? Shoot, they died. Oh man, guys, we missed their death memory. You not liking the the hour forward? I'm kind of feeling it. Kind of feeling it. Well, this is a little extra path. I don't know. I'm just like wandering. What do we got over here? You know, I didn't even have Facebook open. I wonder if somebody was saying anything on Facebook. If not, then I feel bad. Just kidding, not really. But it feel like a missed opportunity, you know, like to chat with somebody. It's always great to chat with people. I love chatting with people. Give me a second. I'm gonna open up Facebook chat just with the little time we have left, just to see if I missed out on anything. I just wish Streamlabs would show the Facebook chat. Like, if I type into the Facebook chat, it shows it. But if I don't, like, I just don't. I just don't get it. You know? Like Look, if I type into it, if I say, hey, y'all, it's me from Facebook. You know, the Mark Zuckerberg guy. Here to tell you why... Facebook doesn't work on Streamlabs. There you go. Bam. Look. It pops up if I type it. But. One, it doesn't pop up on the chat, actual chat. Like on the chat screen. And then it also, if, if somebody not me types in on, what's it called? Uh. Types in the Facebook comments, it doesn't show up on the multi-stream chat, and that's what's really annoying. I want to be able to see like Facebook comments without having to have a Facebook window open. It's ridiculous. God damn it! Why oh, you gotta make me go through all this work? All right, this is just a shortcut. There's just a shortcuts there everywhere, to everything. I thought those were dead birds. I was about to say, really? This is just, this is the quality we're going for, huh? This is what, this is what I paid, this is what I paid twenty dollars for. I'm really enjoying the story of this game, though. I'm really, I'm really curious what's going on. Like, all means, by all means, I'm fine with walking sims. I mean, the whole point of it is having good environment design and good story. That's your two key factors for good walking. Sims. Are you leading me the right way this time, or are you, are you, are you fucking with me? You're fucking with me. I've already been there. Go to the subway. Or train station hey more dead birds so we're running out of time here guys we got about 12 minutes i'm gonna just get all the way to 12 minutes but hey we did two hours you know that's pretty good and then we'll end it there after we'll end it there what the hell happened here geez trains don't even work either What's happened? Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiot. Ooh. Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? Oh. Huh. Well, they got ran over. That's very unfortunate.
Are we already done with Wendy or what's going on here? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They take my shoes, sir. Howard? Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said we couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the Bloody village. Shoes. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm gonna find my son. Then I'm gonna ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Oh, so Wendy's the mom of Steve. Who am I then? Who are you? What are you? What am I? What am I? I am a human being. On planet Earth. And I'm tired as hell. <laughs> okay, so this looks like a dead end now. Oh, I'm lagging right now, aren't I? Well, on Facebook, I'm lagging. Uh, how's everything look on the other streams, guys? Because on my uh, stream labs, it looks perfectly fine. But on Facebook, it's apparently lagging. Then again, I don't really have the best internet, so I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so this is a little side thing. How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome. I'm actually just about to be ready to end the uh, stream pretty soon. But I still appreciate you dropping by. Always helps out. Always helps out. We're just playing a little mellow game here. Walking Sim, known as uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Uh, it's pretty, very, really interesting. Like, there's a disease going around. So, you know, we all relate to that. <laughs> and we're just trying to figure out what exactly is going on. Why is everyone getting sick? But then suddenly bursting into light, and there's some sort of entity um, passing through the, the phone lines. Something like that, power lines, all types of things. Now we're trying to like follow these lights. I'm not following that thing though, because it tends to mislead me. We're gonna keep moving forward. But uh, yeah, I'll be done in around seven minutes. Oh, it's coming back. It's like, why are you not listening to me? I know which way to go. Is this the bathroom? No, just a suitcase. That's weird. Are there any memories here? Looks like it. See seeing you here. Oh, is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just the lag is getting really big. Robert, damn. That man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mithering old yeah, I'm seeing your, but your someone comment has like to really say late. what everyone else is thinking. We both know that. Give me a second. This marriage, gotta see what's going. It's not out. Stabilize now? Uh, let me just check. Just Yeah, my CPU is like... Why? Why are you doing this to me? Let me just close some stuff really quick. I need to upgrade my computer. Because it is driving itself mad.
All right, that should be a little bit better. A little bit better, hopefully. Things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. Hmm. I have to accept it. I know, but she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the color of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What is she black? What's what they do up there? It's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. Yeah, it can be in the water. I don't like her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Uh-huh. Okay, lady. Oh, no, I'm dropping frames. Jesus. All right, it's saving right there. I guess we'll just stop for there, there for right now. We'll continue on tomorrow. I'll probably get through more of this game faster now that I can sort of understand it better. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys take care. Have a good one. Have a good night. And most importantly, get some good rest, get some good food, and sweet dreams. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Deuces. Oh, if I press the right button. Ah!